we're taking a look at the full release version of Terraformers. This is version 1.0, comes out on the 9th. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's uh, today. It's the day the video goes up on YouTube. Um, if you're watching it on Twitch, uh, you get an early look at this. Uh, this is being sponsored. Uh, this is being made by Astro Lab and, and Goblins, and they're sponsoring this. Thank you very much. Um, we're gonna take a look at at the game. I've played this one before, and um, I, what I remember last time. So we've got we got the uh, Mars, and we're gonna go land on this planet, and it plays out kind of like a board game, where it's just sort of turn based. Um, there's some like story elements in there, but basically we're building different towns on the planet, and we're doing our best to terraform the planet. Hence the name. Uh, last time I played this, we ended up with like, I think we were. Um, well, I think I ended up separating myself from the from the Earth, and so we, we had like our own government on on Mars, and we started getting some oceans and some forest. Start, or I think we had bacteria. I don't think we got anything past that. We got some bacteria and some lakes and things in there. And um, with this new 1.0 release, we've got some new things in here, which includes things like we can found cities on the moons, Phobos and Demos, Demos, Demos. Um, New buildings, new events, new leaders, all that kind of stuff. There's also a weekly challenge mode. We'll see all this stuff. So let's just check it out. There's a link bouncing around there for the game. Thanks again, Goblins, for sponsoring. And let's see what we can do. So uh, a new game here. Uh, if I remember right, also the last time I played this, I did the intro scenario, and I played for like two and a half hours or whatever. And I got to the end of it, and it said, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. <laughs> so... Um, well, there you go. Uh, um, anyway, but since then, I've un I unlocked new things. We now have the green path we can do. We can do the red path, which is all about getting resources. The green path is all about spreading life. Uh, the red planet awaits is just sort of get points. You can do custom missions here as well, like what do you want to do? Do you want to you want high expectations? Do you want to have good environment or whatever? Um, and then the weekly challenge, which I was talking about uh, earlier. But let's just play the game. Um, normal style, but we're going to go with the the game mode of the green path. So we go to Mars as gardeners of life to give it a new haven away from Earth. So our, our job today uh, for this one, our goal is spread life. Uh, there's no points on this one. We're just going to make a planet as green as we can. Uh, we're going to plant trees. We're, we're getting some animals in there. When I was playing with this a little earlier, I got bunnies. Actually, I didn't get bunnies, but I had the goal of getting bunnies on Mars. So... That seems like a completely reasonable, completely reasonable thing to do, if you ask me. Click anywhere to step outside the shuttle. They've also added a bunch of animations. If I remember another thing about this game, uh, it's very, um, it's very pretty. It's a very pretty game. Like, it looks like a board game. It's got this, like, the artwork. It's good stuff. And they've added some, like, animations or whatever. Welcome to the Mars Colonization Project. For hundreds of years, mankind has asked self, is there life on other worlds? Uh, so our job is to go to Mars. What are we going to start with? Do we want to start with the balanced approach, the utopian approach, or the scientific approach? We'll just take the balanced one. These are our resources. And basically how the game plays out is it's a turn-based thing. We're going to hire ourselves a leader here in a second. Um, as we place down uh, uh, buildings, like farms and, and housing and all that stuff on our, in our towns, it's going to give us resources. We use those resources to build more things in our towns, and we eventually start building outside these these additional little squares out here. We may find, in my game I played before, we had a volcano, and I started the volcano up, which added heat to the planet. Uh, um, I, um, I got some, like, I took some waters from um, Europa. I think I grabbed some water from Europa and dumped it on the planet. <laughs> we helped raise them at water levels. But eventually, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get those levels up to um, fix the planet. Uh, but it does hit some twists as we get some, like, story elements and things popping in there. Like, for instance, last time I said I, uh, I like, I left uh, the Earth and I made my own government. So interesting things can happen anyway. Uh, so we've got to choose our, our governor at the moment. we got Gustav, who works in IT. Uh, he's an expert in simulation programming and can he created the Mars colonization simulation with the help of Jorge Dromedo. So basically what's going on is these guys give us little perks. Uh, Pakai is, is an activist. Basically all you care about here is our skills. She gives us water, titanium, or tritium, titanium, nitrates, and silicates. Uh, this guy gives us power. Um, mostly she, when you give a new city, she gives us money. Uh, he gives us science for every six robots you construct. 
neither of these guys are very good to start with, but we'll take them. It's randomized each time. The plant's random, randomized, and um, we'll see how it goes. So my resources are over this way. My happiness is here. If people get mad at me, they boot me out and put someone else in place, and I lose the game. Uh, in Car, in Katina City, I'll place our headquarters here. Some things do have adjacency bonuses, and so like you want to be as like something that wants adjacency, but here you know. Um, I don't remember which ones are the adjacency ones. I'm pretty sure the headquarters is not one. Do you think it would be, but I don't think it is. But we'll put that in there. Um, hey, look, there it is. Um, we're, we got population. We can put so many buildings in there, and we get, you know, perks and happiness and all that stuff. Um, our victory is to spread life beyond Earth and make sure it can survive. Enter, earn 20 total life form prestige, which is, which is, I'm not sure where we see that, actually. I suppose we'll find it in a minute. So, let's go put down a farm, shall we? Uh, I'm going to put the farm down. Ooh! There it goes. Yay. Yay! Well, that was exciting. Right there. Okay. Uh, Gustav over here has a, uh, a couple different abilities, right? He has... He generates five power. What a guy. Um... He, he can innovate, which gives us more science. Science is getting cards to place these buildings down. And he can also explore. We explore these spots because we land on this planet. We don't have a clue what's here. We just have an inkling of what's around. And as we explore, we'll find new things. So let's go and take a look at... There's a large hint of water and some scientific interest over here. There's some titanium and water. Uh, there's tritium and nitrates. Let's take a look at this one over here. So we found a, uh, a deposit of water, which gives us water and some science just for free. But also, we can come in here with resources, and if we own the place, we can mine it, uh, which will give us water every turn. And Or we can just yank all the water out. Um, a water mine pumping water straight to the oceans, and it gains 10 oceans. It just puts it straight into there to raise our water level up, uh, if we want to do that. Um, and so you kind of... When you play the game, I guess you kind of decide, do you want to, like, take care of the planet? It is terraformers, but you take care of the planet, or you take care of yourself, I guess. It's kind of like the, the different things. But let's get the turn. <clears throat> all right. Uh, each turn we get a new card, which is a building, new building we can make, and they all have different costs. Um, and you can see we're gaining one food each turn because of the farm we put down. Uh, we can put down a habitation module here this turn. Uh, let's go ahead and get, this will give us science, this will give us power every turn, makes people mad, uh, and this, will, this one gives us food, more food, so let's do that, um, and then we're going to go ahead and put our habitation module in here, and we're going to stick it in right, I, I know there's one that connects farms up, I think there's other ones that connect these things, I don't remember what connects like things, I forget, so I'll put it right there, okay, because the rock's in the way, I'll put it right there. There we go. So now this gives us more people, which gives us the ability to make more um, more location spots outside. And that is that is these. We can buy these spots. And when we buy the spots, we can then put the mine in or extract water for oceans or whatever. Um, if we raise the ocean level, increasing the ocean level increases the comfort li of living on all cities that own an ocean location by one. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing that. Um, there's been, been a few games that I've played recently that... I just played one just the other day where, like, um, a terraforming kind of thing. And then as you terraform, like, the the planet starts to grow and water and all that kind of stuff. And I, I, I like it. I love it. Um, I don't know. I Something about that. That's good stuff for me. Um, it, it's sort of feedback, I guess. You know, as you play the game, you, you can see that you're doing something because the planet's growing and stuff. Uh, anyway, let's go grab this. That's ah, a small hint, small hint. These are all small hints. Let's grab this one over here because it's got a big hint. Some tritium. And there's a tritium deposit here, so we can go and mine that if we buy this one, which will give us tritium every turn. And we can't expand to a known location, so we can expand over to the water to get water. Expand over here to get the tritium. Um, I want to do the ocean growing thing, but I think um, I probably need the water. So I'm going to go ahead and mine the water using some power and some, some cubes, some jello, and get water every turn. <clears throat> it's not too bad because you can move these things around. You can relocate these things. It lasts a couple turns, so it like gives us a bit of a penalty, but you can move stuff around. Um, I don't remember what is the best place for everything, though. So I know there's a way of, of doing it. A dad joke. 
Alright. Hey, Mashless, how's it going? Playing beat, yeah, that's, that's the one. Um, why didn't the orange win the race? Because it ran out of juice. Okay, so I'm, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here just in case you're, um, you're wondering what's going on here. Why did the lettuce win the race? Because it was ahead. What fruit do scarecrows love the most? Strawberries. <laughs> okay, okay. They're so bad, you get three of them. Okay? Praise on Tinti. <laughs> Praise on Tinti is right. Alright, uh, we've got four of those tritium. We can go and get... So this guy's going to give us power every turn. Um, goes in the city. Some things go outside the cities. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, jelly cubes. Uh, we can build more another habitation module. We can get tuber farms. And we start getting some new exciting stuff as the game goes on here. Um, we can also... Um, we can also, like, scrap them. Just get science if we want. Uh, but I think it's probably a good idea to grab, like, food. I think food's probably good. What I find cool about cars, whatever the AC touches, you know what I find hot about cars? Metal handles on a hot day. That's as, that's, that's as bad as those jokes in that book. All right, we can keep exploring out here, but it's going to cost us more power to explore out this way. Uh, I'm just going to kind of get the ones around me. We'll build again more uh, building or more cities as well at some point. Uh, nothing here. A, big, a whole lot of nothing but a bunch of crates. A bunch of food out there. Mars berries. All right. This is on a high plateau, which it could be good when it comes to, like, um, watery time. So, Tharsis... Oxygen in Tharsis is... The global oxygen level needs to be raised four times before there's oxygen in this zone. What are we in right now? We're in... I don't know where we are right now. Are we in Thar... Are we in Tharsis? Maybe we're... Oh, yeah, we're in Tharsis. Okay, I see. I see. I see. And then there's this one. Zero chance for, for sandstorms. Okay. Zero chance for sandstorms. Okay, okay. I gotcha. Uh, we can make this farm. Let's go ahead and do that. And put another farm down. I, I know there's a building that connects that, like, adjacent farms get make more food. So we're going to do that. Um, and uh, as long as he can do his thing, we're going to let him do his thing and keep on past the turn. Earth has established a permanent trade route with us. Hooray. Uh, we can build a robot hub, which is the same as people, but it's uh, uh, robots. Uh, we can make more habitation modules. We can get some universities, which gives us science. I'm going to go ahead and get the robot hub. And we got to do some exploring and, and mining and stuff to get these resources in. That's the whole the whole idea here. So let's go and do that. Um, we've explored over here. I'm going to use all my exploration points, which is 43 of these things. What is that? What are you? Oh, it's a little... What? Praise on Tinti. A little rocket. What's he doing there? He's so tiny. So I know we can go and colonize the moons now. Uh, we don't see them yet, but they're out there somewhere. A hydrate. Cheers for the for the for the little spaceship. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, all right. Uh, let's go and get some more scouting about. And I, I don't know what if there's anything in particular that we need a lot of. We need some more of these little cubes. So if we can find a bunch of them, there's a small hit hint of titanium. Can we get a big hint of titanium? That would be kind of nice. Small hint. I guess we'll take the nearby stuff first, just because it's here. Oh, an empty one. It's fine because we will put things. We'll have a reason to put stuff there. When I get this robot place. Um, I will uh, uh, get another people. So let's go ahead. Let's get these, this trade guy. What he's doing up there is we can sell, we can export uh, some Martian food, Mars berries, and we can import some uh, some titanium jelly that we will use for building things. Uh, a waste incinerator. Uh, adjacent population hates it if you build them next to it in the in the town, uh, but it's plus one power if at least three food is produced inside this city. Maybe. It's only plus one power. This is a brine electrolyzer. This one plus two support for every building owned by the city that costs water. And we have a soil factory, which adjacent, there we go, adjacent food producing buildings produce extra food. That's what we want. We want this guy. 22 nitrates. That's a lot. 
But if we can get him built there, you know, that'd give us a nice boost. Like the Death Star. Yeah, there's something Death Star about it, isn't it? Especially with the, when the red... <laughs> there's something a little bit gloomy about it. More nitrates, a lot of support. People love it. They, they found a new, a new crater. It's symbolic for the people. They love it. They love it. So in this crater, we can actually build another town here. Um, so adjacent population gets more support by living next to that big rock. Um, so we could build a town here if we wanted to. If we had, if we explore all the adjacent places and put it in, and to have the food and water, we can make another town uh, and grow that. Um, we're not concerned about that yet, but we are concerned about getting some robots. So let's put some robots in right there, I guess. Adds in some more population, which gives us some growth, which we're going to go over here and grab some of that tritium. No, we're not. We don't have enough of that stuff. So we will grow in a minute. I can grow to these, which there's not much reason for it yet, but eventually I will have things that will use that. Uh, exploration satellite from Earth. Yeah, I think, did we see it? Did we see it? Delivered an array of exploration satellites to the Martian orbit that helps us explore. So every couple turns, like Gustav here, we can get a free explore. More robots, uh, a lab for science, and eco-homes. Uh, both population and robots increase the max buildings. Got it. This is just, so it costs science and food, and it gives us a population thing. That seems okay. Costs a lot of food. Um, I One more cube, and I'll be able to grow, I'll be able to make those mines. But we can grow right now. Anything exciting around here? This is this is an exploration milestone. Well, let's explore that one then. Uh, another crater. Okay. So another crater. We can build another town here. Um, There's some scientific ones. These are all just exploration milestones everywhere. So we will go look. There. We have found a canyon view. Reach the cliff of an extensive canyon system. People like it. It also gives us some tritium. And at the canyons, we can turn into a viewpoint tower. People love that, and it gives us some comfort. Uh, so the way that the, the support works is as the game goes on, people get more grumpy. And so you have to kind of keep up with that so people don't run, run you out of the, out of the system. Um, I would like... Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I still don't have the four, do I? I need, I need one more of those. Okay. We're getting some tritium in here, though. That's maybe good. Um, what's that one do? Generates five. Can I just click on that and just get five power from you? That'd be handy. This guy is only going to be around for so long. Um, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm just in the way of the, the next turn button here. Uh, he... He... He's here for a little bit, and then he's, and he's out of here, and we get someone else coming in. So we got to kind of use his abilities while we can. Um, I may not be opposed to doing that. We can go and take that and get and get some happiness, or we can go build up. Oh, we can't build up there, um, or we can, but we don't want to. But let's go explore over this way before we expand this place. Uh, we are we're trading. We're selling one food for one of these cubes every turn. We can only do one so far. Uh, I will pick up a magnetic fusion plant gives us minus one comfort, but it gives us plus two power per turn, and that could be handy. Hospital's a big support guy. People don't like that, but it gives me power. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And with more power becomes more Martian terraforming. So we're up to four now. We need... Oh, we, go, we, got, we got it. Now we can go ahead and mine this. And that'll give us more tritium, which we're going to get this magnetic fusion plant in a minute. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and expand to this viewpoint tower. And when we get more of those, we're going to go ahead and build a viewpoint tower here so we can go look at the rocks. Because everybody likes rocks. I'm going to go ahead and just take the free stuff. Thanks, Gustav. Okay. As a colony grows, basic, uh, grows in basic amenities, become more common, so do people's expectations. People now are getting a little cranky. They, uh, they, they want more, basically. So we're going to try to see if we can take care of these people. Um... Food is... Maybe I should go ahead and... What do you take? Let's get... I'll do another robot hub. Uh, I'm going to... 
stop getting rid of that and start starts taking away you have to get rid of one thing to get something else so we get rid of the night get rid of the, the tritium and get the cube stuff I think that's going down quick minus five we can make people happy I suppose um, what was the one that that's 22 nitrates Okay, let's see if we can explore some place that has nitrates. Like, this has got a large hint of nitrates. We got six more there. And some food boxes. And this is a rich soil, so we can we can get a nitrate mine. Or an agricultural complex, which costs a bunch of water, but it gets us three food per turn if we build over there. So we could expand there and then over there. That's a long way to go, but maybe we should just build a town here. We can build a town here and then grab that real quick. Let's do it. Um, we can build the... Yeah, let's do it. In a minute. We need 30 food and, and 10 water. We also need to explore some more things. Okay, technological advancements. So new research uh, projects have been proposed by our R&D department. Do we want to go get self-learning AI? Cost is 10 science. Increases our science production by one for every five science you start producing. Uh, we want to get be better improved robotics. Get one power and one titanium when constructing a robot. Or space flight conditions. To support income for every new trade route you create. Cost 20 science. I'm going to take the one, I'm going to take the one that costs the least amount of science. We make a robot, which we're gonna, we've got a robot factory, I think, here. So, we'll get that one. Um, that's going to give us more power. Comfort. I'm going to take another farm. Okay, we almost have the food that we need for that. And we're getting the water so we can get a new town in here if we need. And that will help grow us a bit. Uh, our exploration is ready. So let's go explore that place. We have found another canyon. Which people like. Support has gone up. And we can, again, we can put a viewpoint tower in there. Which I may do. I could do one here now. Let's do it. There you go. How about some comfort? So it's minus one. People are mad about it being far away. Uh, but they're also happy. They're comforted by the, the, the tower. I think I want to put in... This guy. Do I want to use up my nitrates? No, I think I'm going to save my nitrates because I want to get the soil factory in here. So I'm going to... Change my trade. Bring in some nitrates. Because once we get 22, we'll build that guy, then we can then we can put the tuber farm in. Or whatever. Can you just give me three science if I click on that? And no, I can't do that. I'll just do oh, what's this one? That's my new my new thing. So once I get five science, I can do this one. Which is that project. Uh just give me the energy. Because last time I played, I ran out of energy. So I'm gonna use it. Landing pad that goes on an open spot, which gives an extra trade route. I do want that. I need more stuff. Okay. Um, let's just keep on exploring. Just everywhere around here. What do you got there? A big, a gigantic titanium mine. We get three titanium if we, we get that one. That's what we want. This is a good place for a town. Okay. Um, I will go and I can't expand here. We, we need to put this landing pad, but it has to go somewhere. We can't put it there because we don't own it. But if we get a population in here, then we can then we can grow it. So I need some of those. Okay. Uh, next one. <laughs> okay, our leader, uh, he, he is retiring. So we get to do someone new. We get Thomas Foster who is an explorer. He has the perk of increasing your silicate production by one for every three silicates you start producing. Uh, he also can mine resources. Uh, mine five the resources with a bonus of plus one for large deposits. So that's... Um, he's good to have around. Uh, what do you do? You uh, increase your water production by one for every three water you start producing. Makes police stations for free. He can select a city... Produces all resources a second time for five population. I'm going to take this guy. I've used him before. Un-NASA. And he's going to go and mine a bunch. 
Can I use him for the thing down there? Miner's Cottage. Costs 7 power and 30 food. It gives us 1 housing. That might not be a bad idea. We can also do another greenhouse farm. We got, one of, we got one of those. Or an exhaust processor. Which gives us 1 silicate for every 3 mines owned in the city. Maybe. I'll take the, the cottage. And then... We got what? One more turn, we'll have the nitrates. We'll get this guy done. What's it take for this eco home? It takes 10 more science, which I'm not getting any science. Can I click on it? Mine five of that resource with a bonus of plus one for large deposits and plus two for gigantic. Can I tell you to mine that? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Okay. Let's get some robots. I should do this first. I get a power and titanium when constructing a robot. I'm about to do a robot. I should do that. So, um... I'm gonna wait a turn. I need to get... I need... I need three more science. Let's get this thing first. Next turn. Oh, I gotta get rid of something. Uh, I will get rid of... I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm going to get rid of the fusion plant. Okay. Next turn. Scientists are making progress on adapting life to Martian conditions through bioengineering. Hooray! We can either get, uh, Dynococcus, which gives us... It's a, it's a bacteria which will, which will provide two atmosphere per turn. We haven't done anything with this stuff on the side yet. Uh, slowly, but it'll start changing things that way. Or we can get this guy, which is one atmosphere and one oxygen per turn. Sinophyta. He requires it to be cold. Minus two temperature. He requires it to be zero temperature. You want the green or the purple? Any, any, any ideas? Who, who, who has a, a, an idea? I did one of these last time. I don't remember what it was. Okay. Green it is. Um, we can get a road paver depot. It provides three more expansions in a, in a town. That's good stuff. Uh, or a lab. Or we can just scrap it and get a research. I'm going to do that. Give me one more research. We're going to go to Ket this town and put down a soil factory. I I'm going to put down this guy first. And then the soil factory. Because then it's going to be a big boost Look at all that food. So much Martian berries in this town. We can put robots in as soon as we get our science. We can get more people living here. Look at that. They go. Um, where are we at? I don't know what our temperature is. I think our temperature is... I don't know. We'll find out. We can get more robots in here. Or we can put them in the other town. Most of the minus cottage we can do... Um, we have the... Oh, not quite. We don't have the water. Almost have the ability to go and do the other town. Let's bring in some science. And... Because if we added a, another person, we could, we could expand down here. But I really want to use those for the other spot. So I'm going to wait one more turn. He can mine something. I, I can tell him to mine, I think, what's it, what was that boost? He does mine five of that resource, uh, plus two for a gigantic. We've got a gigantic one right there. We could just keep on cranking in that, that stuff. This is a regular mine. Let's just keep on, like, let's just keep on using them. Let's look at this first. We found a nitrate deposit, just a regular old one. I'm going to use you for this. For some more titanium. Seems like a, a good idea. The idea that building a, um, a base inside a crater provides protection against dust storms. I think that's that's kind of what the regional thing is. So Tharsis here has um, reduced chance of sun, sandstorms appearing. So I'm guessing if we build in some sort of crater place. And also, I know that um, there's different alt altitudes for whenever the waters come. I don't know how that plays out. 
Um, but when the water's coming, we may start stuff get lost under the water. Uh, by the way, we're in the bacteria phase right now. We'll go to plants and animals here shortly. Maybe not so shortly. Um, let's go one more turn. Okay. Economic growth has been steady for the past few years and have more budget than expected. Additional funds are provided, substantial subsidies to one of our industries. Do we want to go to the mining industry, producing stuff, or the manufacturing industry? Uh, let's go to the mining industry. Okay, we can build Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh, this is a house. This is an oxygen factory. This is a development center, which you can research one extra project every turn. I'm going to go and do the oxygen factory because that sounds exciting. And we're trying to make this place green. So let's go ahead and play this improved robotics. So it has been played. So now every time we get a robot, um, we should get good stuff. Uh, I'm going to play one right now. We're going to run out of space in this place. I'll put it right there. Okay, there we go. We can get rid of this rock if we want to spend three power. I'll go ahead and do it. Um, we can go and expand, and we're going to expand into... Do I want to go, I want to go here so we can build this landing pad, I think. Build a landing pad. There we go. That gives us two now. So now we can sell two things. Like, I'm going to sell two food now because we got a lot of food. And let's pick up a, a science and let's pick up a water. Sure. Uh, and then... Can build a supply station for free. Build on a Blake spot. Exploration missions by your leader can be undertaken from here. Can you do it without owning it? Ah, oh, you can. I think rocks covering. What? What is it? I forget what those do for me. Missions can be taken from there. I don't remember what that does, but we got one. Okay, so we can build this in a city for power. This is more food. And this is an entertainment center to make people happy. People are... <laughs> the people are a little cranky. So let's do that. Uh, provide three support per turn for adjacent people. Um, so I, I don't know if this would do... We can do that. I'm not sure if it would do any good for the robots. Oh, you know what it would have... Right, is that what it's trying to tell me? Oh, no. It would go better there. Let's move the robot hub. To there. And we're going to put the, uh, what was that? Entertainment center there. Because that's going to give us plus three each. Each spot. Yeah, look at that. Exciting. Ooh, more exciting. It's cool how the background like kind of grows as the town grows. Anyway, I didn't mean, didn't mean to do that. That was I didn't mean to pass the turn. There. I meant to right click. Um, there are more robots. Uh, we can get another landing pad, uh, which may be a good idea because we got so much food coming in here. Maybe that's maybe that's what we should do. Or more robots. I think this might be a better idea. We can grow again. Look there he goes again. Um, but what I want to do. I want to get more water so we can build here. Ten water. I'm going to save that. Uh, I will explore that spot. We found ourselves a lava tube. Got three water out of it. Lava tubes we can build towns in. A very rocky town. This is up in Tharsis. I would like... It's probably people's count as cities for exploring... Uh, exploring tiles. Oh, okay, so so it makes it okay. So when I explore, it's only gonna be one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Explore over there. Get some free stuff and some food. Another rocky plane over there. Uh, we've got enough stuff to build a town, so let's go build a town here in the crater. We found a city here. This is Cole's town, and we're gonna call it. Um. Who's this Foster fellow? Um. Mons Junction. Gray Hill. Gray Hill is great. Uh, let's make it <laughs> yellow. Okay. Uh, people want to live next to that. So there's a big boost for, for people being there. I can put my, my headquarters there also. So I will do that. So there's some support for that. Um, 
I don't know if the robot hub doesn't count. Um, if we got some more science, we could put the eco homes in there or these minor cottages. We just spent all our food. Which would go there. And that would give us some support. Um, as I actually minus one support for this thing. I'm tempted to put more robots in. Okay, so now, because of that boost we have, uh, we're going to expand. We want to build a mine here. So we're going to build a, expand down there and build a mine as soon as we get some power. So I don't have much Mr. Power again. Uh, and then we're going to go expand here for the nitrates. Yeah, and we'll be able to build a nitrates mine. Or we can build a complex, which gives us food. we got plenty of food. Okay, oh, you can grow too? Where do I want you to go? There's another nitrates mine we could get. Hmm. Crater's just a city spot. You want another nitrates mine? That wouldn't be a bad thing. Do that. That's happy music. I don't know if you can hear it. It's pretty quiet, but it's very happy. That makes people mad for being that far away, but it is a mine. Let's wait a minute and see before we go and put it out there. More eco homes, more farms, or more oxygen factories. I have what was the one I have got? I've got already, I already have an oxygen factory. But I guess that's kind of the goal of what we're trying to do here. Yeah, energy is kind of dwindling. I think it's best for me to just keep on mining this. Cost and energy. Um, I need a good water spot also. When we get our free um, exploration, we'll use it. There's not any good water spot. There's a water spot up here, but it's a small hint of water. Do I want to be putting all my stuff into... I think it's probably, probably a good spot for it. Let's try. Windmills. Hey, there we go. On an empty spot, gives us power. Public Baz gives us support, and uh, a robot hub. Let's get some some of these. I think we have an open spot. We don't. I want a couple spaces away. Let's go. I don't have the power to do some exploring, so I'm going to keep on mining. I'm going to mine, um, water. Okay. Um. So I can get expanded there and then, and then there. And then build those windmills. We can hope to explore and find one over on this side because this town's getting kind of full. Nah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Increase your prestige. Three big corporations are offering a gift of resources to one of your cities. We can have titanium, water, or power. I will take power, Danley Group. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, we can be a, a CO2 factory. Makes people mad, but it gives us atmosphere and heat. This one gives research. This one gives us robots. Plus one science per three robots in this city. That's going to be good for our, wind, our main town. But I think I want the CO2 factory. I don't know. we got a lot of robots in that town. Let's go ahead and do them. Let's explore this spot up here. I think. Yeah. 
a lava tube. Ooh, a big, a big deposit of silicates. That puts us at how many? Eight. We need two more for to build that thing. Eco homes are ready. I'm gonna put him in Gray Hill. Not that I have a place to use it yet, though. I can expand to the Canyon View, but I don't care about that. Um, we'll explore these other places eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and mine. If I have this big mine, shouldn't I be bringing in three? Oh, I don't have this. Do I not have this mine yet? Right, I need more power. I forgot about that. Here we go. Hey, Cormac, how's it going? This needs 10. And then we put that guy down. It, I don't know if it needs to be adjacent. I don't think it needs to be adjacent, just as long as it's in there. So we put this guy out, it'll give us plus one science per three robots in this city, and there's four robots in this city right now. And there could be... And, uh, I don't think I have another one. But there we go. That's a boost. The Miner's Cottage. Plus one support per turn for every mine owned by this city. It owns one mine. Two mines. This one owns... Will own two mines. Ooh, the difference. Once I get that mine in there, maybe it'll be good. Let's grab some... I'm not sure if that's better, or let's just, let's, well, if we explore, it still costs energy. Let's do this one. We got four of them. And we found a silicate deposit which we can mine. <clears throat> uh, each dike level protects a location against one ocean level. Ah, okay, okay. But we can mine it. So it would keep the oceans from flooding us. We've got the stuff we need, though, to make that, that fella. For science. Okay, we got science coming in now. used all our power up for that turn. I'm going to take this off and put more power in. We want more power every turn. The min wind uh, turbines is what we want. Sometimes we're making progress on adapting life to Martian conditions so we can get uh, metal durins. Requires we one land location in the climate zone. We also have tundra forests. Requires rainfall. Give us plant spreaders. Yeah, I want I want forest. I want trees. Okay, there's Marsha again. Cultured meat lab. Resonance station. Power. Um I have a lot of housing, don't I? I'll take that one. I don't know that I can keep it though. Okay, so. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put in this thing. There's a there's a boost for being near the entertainment thing, but I can't do that. Like, I could rearrange, I guess, a little bit. Um, but not really, because that thing's stuck there. I'll just put it there. Okay, so that gives us another spot. We can go ahead and come over here. Put our wind turbines in. Okay, that windmill is now coming in. We gotta get that mine, which we'll get here in a couple turns. <laughs> yes, culture meat labs where the burgers were tuxedos. <laughs> yes. Uh, we need to get this natural sites, which is where we need to put this fella, because it'll be real happy about being there. We need more food. We'll get it next turn. Um, and explore? No, we want to drill 
some of those. Okay, we can import tritium from mercury. It costs us nine power, nine titanium, but we get two per turn. We're getting some of that. We can make a hospital, or we can make an android hub for more robots. Yeah, more robots. We're going to put them here in cat wherever this place is. This is going to be more science, right? More robots, more science. It takes 10 power. I don't want to use my power up. I got to get this. Can I do it yet? I need one more power to get this, to get three every turn. Why is everything got to be power? I can make all kinds of stuff now. I feel like I should make it. Um, we could also build another town. But I think we got plenty of space here. So let's put here. A, um, we'll put the miners' cottage in. They're not real happy, but they'll put them there because they'll be happy about being next to those that thing. Okay, so you can grow. There they are. Um, oxygen factory, maybe. But the robots will go up north there. We use all my power up. Um, sure, I can't put them over here because this is in the way, and I can't rid of it because it costs power. I'll put one in. Okay, so we are now making oxygen. Gray Hill. Um, I can buy another spot, but I haven't explored anywhere. Other than that. Maybe it's like I can click on that one, which is kind of weird. Let me wait and see what these are before I expand. Supports, titanium, nitrates, crater. Okay, nothing too exciting. I need more power. Ooh, lots of silicates up this way and lots of water. This might be a good place for a town. I can get more food. Gray Hill wants to take more food. And, you know, I won't hurt anything. Okay, new leader. Thomas retiring. So we have Henry. Henry is, uh, is, is good at building mines. Constructing mines costs less resources. Um, cho uh, choose a mine. It immediately produces heat and atmosphere as well as bad support. You can import CO2, gain atmosphere and heat and support. You can also do a prospecting tour. Explore location to collect one resource every hint. And then hope is she gives us support. Spend water, get support. So we use her whenever we're in bad shape, we get her out and she makes everyone like us. Let's get this guy. Let's do some digging. Okay. Landing pad for more more trade. That sounds like a good idea. We can get oceans from Enceladus. I like the bad one even better. I want both of them. Okay. Uh, we'll do that one, and we will go and scout um, that place. There's some silicates. Team discovered a lost batch of supplies. There's food just all over Mars, uh, Mars's surface. Where did all this food come from? <clears throat> Okay, so we, to get stuff in here, to import stuff to Enceladus, we have to go and... Um, I don't know that I can put... Like, if I own this, I don't know if I can put down um, things. But we got to go and... we got to feed stuff into this. So we're going to take one of these powers away, and we'll put it into here. Uh, wrong one. Uh, wait, is not that, is that wrong? Um... There we go. So we're going to take some of the stuff. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of everything. We'll just toss it into there to get this, to get some oceans in this place. Oh, he's only nine now because of this guy. Oh, wait. I changed my mind.
There we go. Gets atmosphere, heat, and support. Choose a mine. Immediately produces heat. Produces heat and atmosphere. Why would I not do that? Because there's just more. Look at that. Get some support. We'll get some some of this stuff bouncing in here. We're at what are we at? We're at one oxygen. We're at three heat, and we're at seven atmosphere. Okay, it gives us power. It's going in Gray Hill. We're gonna. Uh, people don't like that. It's too close to people living there. I don't want to use my power up. We're going to get rid of power to make power. Okay, so there we go. So now we get a little more power every turn. Um, and get what plus one resource of every resource. So it's best for you to like look at the places that have lots of stuff. So let's go over here. Okay. Colony grows in basic amenities. Go more common. So support is down to minus 12 now. Um, bacteria spreader. Luxury workshop. And an Android hub for more robots. I already got one of those. Let's get the bacteria spreader. Okay, that's that's collecting up so we can get that done eventually. Get all that. Um, what's that a meat a meat lab? Put it right there. More meat. I need more trade spots so we can get rid of this stuff. Also, I need some power. Orbital telescope on Phobos. Phobos, the uh, larger of the two Mars's two moons, would be the perfect location for a space telescope. It would give us three science if we did it. Um, or a gas factory. I'll take that. Yeah, that sounds exciting. It's gonna take a while to get there. We need some more trade stuff. Is I think where we're at here. We have nitrates. We're we're just kind of slowly trucking along there. I do it. There's this twenty ocean, which isn't really important right now. With more important. Okay, I'm going to cancel this for a second. And get some power. So we can get that mine done. What's over here? Sandstones? Uh, we can build that. makes it people happy. I guess we could do that. We have the, the ability to. Okay, so we get terraforming observations. Gives us science. Gain 10 science when you increase the terraforming parameter. Uh, this one gives us selling a project provides 10 support instead of a science. Uh, this one gets 5 support income for every new tech you research. Sure. Cost 20 science. This one will give us lots of power. Well, one power. I found a good place for a, I did find another place for a town. It was like right here. This is will be submerged if the ocean rises to level three. Okay. But it seems like a pretty good spot. There's a city we could put a city here. I'm not sure that's a good idea though, because that's the only thing in range is that one spot. 
We can reach that now. If we put a person there, we can reach that. I would never do that. Ooh, a flat. Ooh, this is actually a nice open spot. Uh, I'm not sure there's any. Well, there's a. Ooh, there's a. There's a large tritium deposit, or maybe. Okay, maybe. Oh, look. There's a tritium deposit anyway. Okay, we're never gonna get that mine. I just can't get enough power. <clears throat> not gonna happen. More robots. More power. I'm going to say no. Just give me science. Keep on. Let's make this planet green. So we want to combine living center. Provides a robot and a house. A robot and a person. Greenhouse gap. Well, we know what those do. And a load balancing station. Costs some silicates. And plus one power per turn for every three mines owned by the city. Hmm. What do we have? Maybe one of those? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll take one. Spaceport. Enables two trade routes. Well, I want that. Okay, so we got to find a spot for this thing. It has to be... Can I put it at, like, um... I guess I can put it there? It blinks like I can. Does it remove the other thing? I think it did. It removed the other thing, but that's fine. We don't care about the other thing. So there we go. So we got we got more trade routes. Great! Uh, let's do more trade routes. Let's do... Less food, more power. Henry, raise that up. Let's let's see if we can get these numbers up here. Our whole job here is to do that. Okay, we can get uh, bunnies. Arctic bunnies. Yes, yes, bunnies. Okay, this is the Android Hub, Luxury Workshop, and the Bacteria Spreader. I've got all this stuff. I'm just going to take the science. So now we got eight. We need what? We need nine for this. We gotta get this before this guy leaves because he's pretty uh, good on the old power thing. We can go and do a search though. Let's look. This will be underwater, so we don't really want to be here. Oh, Olympus Mons. Look at that. I know that place. This will all be underwater. Power for every three mines. And you have how many mines? One, two, two. And you also have two. You're going to have two. I guess I could go there and get another mine. Then it would be three. I'm running out of room here. Okay, we can, if we get a person in here. How many uh, people, people makers? That one. Yeah, we want that anyway. Power. Okay. I will get rid of one of the bacteria spreaders. A card prevent water flooding city. Sudden release of subterranean energy causes the ground to shake near Tharsis. Damage the structural integrity of the mine, the greenhouse farm, and the soil factory. How dare it? A Mars quake? It's going to be as bad as this joke. Why didn't the robot finish his breakfast? Because the orange juice told him to concentrate. Why, why does that have to be a. Okay. 
Um, when do you stop at green and go at red? All right, here you go. This is it. This is the peak. Best joke in the book. You stop at green and go at red when you're eating a watermelon. <laughs> Um, uh, how do you fix a cracked jack-o'-lantern? Well, you give it a pumpkin patch. I'm running. I'm, it's all. It's all. It's the. It's this. Is it? It's. But this is what you're getting. I'm starting from the beginning this time. Um, who's the queen of the pencil case? The ruler. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. All right, so we can import, import some oceans from Ceres. We can uh, have a school. We can have a spaceport. We need more of those of uh, that green stuff. But that's that's good stuff. Like all that trade, we're making all that food. That might be that might win the game for us if we get to that point. You know. Um, however, I'd love to have some some oceans. So let's do that. Great. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to bump this down to three and put one into there. So we'll slowly get that one done and then we'll move on to the next stage. <laughs> the hydrates. Okay. Yeah. Cheers to the dad jokes. All right. Uh, for every three mines, we don't have mines, but we can get robots. Um, oh yeah, you broke, didn't you? We'll fix you in seconds. I want robots. Here we go. Uh, we're going to fix that. That's a lot of nitrates to fix that. Um, we'll get per mines. Are you not working? We'll fix you. Cost power. Of course it does. Um, we will fix you and fix you. Okay. Expand location by clicking the pulsating hexagon with a number to the left of your city. I'm, I'm working on it. You be quiet over there. Uh, I got three out of that. Okay. Well, we know we want to go. We want to expand here. We're going to build that pit mine. One of these days, whenever we get some power, we'll go there. Um, and we'll get this 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 station here also, which will give us more power. I don't think it's going to do it right now. Which is almost our last spot we can build. I don't I didn't see it go up, so it'll go up when we get another mine. We got two more places we can expand to. We got some flat plains. We got a nitrates deposit. Why don't we go to the nitrates deposit? And then we have another tube over there. Oh, cities and lava tubes get less damage from sandstorms. There's a reason to have them. I don't have a place to put anything else just yet. So wait for that one. We could do this one right now, just to have something. I really want this one, or uh, this fella. Um, I'm gonna wait. Okay, so we get Marsha, a uh, greenhouse farm, or a heliostat power plant. Better if it's on a high spot. It's a better, better thing. Which I think this is a, this is a high spot. Let's we'll see if we can find some other ones. Okay, the bacteria spreader can be made. Can we go ahead and do that? Why not? Let's spread some bacteria. Oh, on the planet. All right. Can I throw it? I don't put it on the, on there. I don't really have a good spot for it. We could expand to like there and do it. And then put the put the spreader in. There we go. Spread that bacteria. So bacterial colonies are first grown in nutrient vats before they're transferred into the biosphere. So by doing that, there we go. We got we got plus one now. Uh that's oxygen. Where do we see? Where do we get that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure where we see that that happen. Bottom left. Oh, oh, here it is. Spread bacteria life with bacteria spreader in 
Serenum. Spread away. Um. Seems like it's gonna go. It's gonna do well here. So let's spread. People like that. Oh, it's purple. Great. All right. The last thing I want is a dumb blue and green planets. Purple planets. Okay. You excited, Henry? I'm excited. Uh, why don't you make it a little warmer around here? Okay, Henry. I I, I didn't get to build my mine in time. Okay, so we can get uh, Nyla for diplomacy. She increases the number of trade routes by one for every three routes you set up. And what do you do? Increases power production by one for every four power you start producing. That sounds like a good idea. She, we can give her a we can get a free drone hub. We can also get um, the tour thing. What do you do? Select a city. It produces a support again. Embassies for free. I'll do uh, EU. Delivery drones, hospital. I'll take some delivery drones. Or no, you know what? I don't have an animal. I do have an animal spreader, so never mind. We'll just do the delivery drones. What do we do now? Plus one robot. Adjacent population provides plus two support. I don't know that I can get that in there. I can put it there. And it get a boost. Or there. I think it's probably worthwhile to do that. By putting this in here, it gives us, you know, plus two adjacent population boost. That's right. We already got a blue and green one. You're right. Who needs more of that? <laughs> um, what can we do over here? Yeah, you got that thing in there. I'm here in my oxygen factory. Move it around. Uh, let's. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. I'm making my mine first. Which didn't go up in price. Um, that's first. And then we're going to remove this one. I don't have enough uh, power anymore, of course. Uh, but we got a mine, at least. Which is going to give us a whole bunch of, of titanium. Okay. Uh, we need to get this mine, which is six power, which we'll have next turn. And, and we can explore. Let's explore. Let's go look over here. Okay, we're in Flat Plains, which is a good place to build a town if we know what's around. It looks like there's water around. Temperature is minus two over here. Those bunnies needed zero. Three more projects are proposed this turn, and plus we gain four science for that one. We can also just get a free drone hub, which just goes into a city for one robot. Um... Build a town up here, but it's all gonna be underwater. Um, let's see what that water is. Six water. We got a large aquifer, so we can ex we can extract water for oceans, uh, which will give us twenty water. We can make a pit mine. Give us two water per turn. We'll get this. Will give us twenty oceans here in a second, in a bit. Habitation module, greenhouse farm, or a tritium thermo generator. Give nine tritium for an extra power. Okay, we get a landing pad. We like that. Uh, oceans from Enceladus. We're already doing that. And lab. 
I'll take a landing pad. Humans. Here's an oxygen generator we can make. Um, I think I might put a town right there. It's pretty open. We got, what's this, support living next to that, which is only two places. What do we need? Oh, yeah, I gotta go explore that place before we do that. Um, explore that place. There's an empty spot. It's like kind of not. I don't know if it's a good idea to build our towns far away or close by. I don't know. Uh, we could get a nice, a nice water spot here. Um, I guess I'll work on this first before we go do that. I don't have any power. Landing pad can go. Nowhere yet. Uh, well, because if I have something that, like one of these, it can get more food if I put that right in there. So I don't want to put another one in. If I got rid of that, maybe. Um, in Gray Hill, we got an open spot there, I guess. We can put in Oxygen Factory. Okay, I'm going to get some more oxygen here. Um, I'm with the more power per turn, but I need, I, need, I need power to get power. I'm, oh, you know what I can do? I can put, I'll put population in here. Somewhere. Um, and then we'll get rid of those rocks. We can expand over here. We'll put down our landing pen. Public baths, uh, animal spreaders, and road paver depot. Provides three expansions. Ooh, that is exactly what I want. Forget the dang robots. I want this too, though. So as long as no one's living next to it, we're fine. Road paver depot. Let's get some expansions. There they go. Uh, let's expand. So we got three expansions. Let's put one in right there. And we'll put one... I guess there. Um, I don't care so much about that. This is just empty, empty spots. So we'll put in some trade routes. So we'll do another trade out. We'll go ahead and, and, uh, and take another food away. And we'll put it into... Let's get some motions. Oh, let's get some more power, I guess. Use some more science, which is that thick what she does, right? Right. Um, what's that? Not again. I have one other one we could do. We could go up there. Maybe we should go somewhere beneficial. If it'll give us a mine or something. Let's go over there. Scientific interest. Hints of tritium. And some food. The scientific interest is that we found food, I guess. That's just an empty spot, which we can put something out there. We'll find something to put out there. Hey, our lord, how's it going? Data center. Uh, what's this one? Artificial magnetic field. Well, that's kind of exciting. No resource, no spots available. Cost 10 power. I'll take it, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, enable that one, which will give us some water. Yay, water. Uh, we gotta do another one now. Let's go import some water. We wanna do water again? This one gives us three signs per turn. It seems pretty good. But we need to get this mine first.
We'll take it all out of there, and we want to put, actually, no, we want to do that. Uh, we want to put, let's do the, this is a quick one, let's do this one first. Like that. I have so much food, what am I going to do with it? Uh, I did play Space Station 13 uh, a long time ago. What a, what a weird game. A weird and fabulous game. If you haven't played Space Station 13, I, I encourage you to, to try it out. Um, what a weird game. But it's great. Let's explore... Another empty spot. Uh, that's on a high plateau, which we know that the power plant will go good there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that place. There. People aren't, aren't going to like it, but they can get over it. We'll put this there as soon as we get some more of these silicates, which we're getting. And are we done? She hasn't done her thing yet. We found some water, heat, and atmosphere. What did we find? We found a big old glacier. Neat. What do we do with that? We drop nukes? What? All right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we can get cultured meat. Resident station. Homesteads. I'll take some homesteads. But first, oh, not yet. Next turn, we will do some, some nuking. Uh, I'm going to change this over real quick. Make sure we drop some nukes tomorrow. Um, and I need to get more of that stuff. This, this one done. We can do the applied research. We're just going up there. So every, every new tech gives us five supports. Good. Uh, the reddish ones go in a uh, on a hex uh, outside the town. And the blue ones go inside the town. That's the difference. Uh, people are getting real mad. Look, Baz, Robot Ingenuity Center. Robots in this city provide extra expansion points. Like how many? I'll take a plant spreader because we can we can afford it, and I think it can go. It'll go one of these empty spots, not that one, uh, but we can put it like over here. I don't think I'm ever gonna use this canyon view, so let's put the plants in there. Spread them plants. Okay, so we got tundra forests. Uh, do we know where? What do we do? It will provide forty support and four income. No suitable climate zone for it. So we need at least one rainfall before it can do anything. Next level increases the rain in every climate zone by one step. So once we get the water up, we get 10 more waters, then we can do it. And we're going to get more water here in a minute. Um, like that. In a couple turns. Yeah, it's time for those city. Ooh, penguins. We need two oxygen. We can get artificial bacteria. Requires one oxygen. But oh, how can I? What got it? Penguins. Okay, engineering lab gives us science. A uh, that's one of these things. We don't have a lot of this stuff to spare, but we can get some. Building a city. This is built up there. Two science per turn. I'm going to take the nitrous gas factory. 
Ah, how can you say no to penguins? Perfect question. It is time for another city, but um, I don't have... I don't know that I have a good place for another city. I haven't found one that I that I want. I don't I don't know that I've got a spot for one. Let's drop some nukes. Let's do that first. Raise the radiation in the climate zone by one. Raises global radiation by one for three turns. Uh, let's do it. Boom! I am become life maker of worlds. First nuke was detonated on Martian soil. Nah, that'll be fine. Terraforming efforts are paying off in the latest scientific analysis. Shows atmosphere level has reached a new stage. Yeah, everyone's pointing at it. Look at that. There's Look at them nukes. Okay. We got uh, radiation. We got something else in all zones. Everyone's happy. Yeah, they love this place. This is great. Exactly. That's what, that's what they were shouting when those nukes dropped. Climate zone minus two. This is a climate zone. Um, let's explore over here. Nitrate's deposit. Uh, and then I'm going to have you explore here. Five power. A large meteorite. Uh, harvest its resources. Uh, we get eight nitrates. Becomes empty. We can put a research station down and get one science per turn. That sounds like a deal. But I need some of this stuff for what I'm trying to build here. If I had a good, like, cave or something over here, I'd put a, I'd put a town over here. What about over this way? You're going to use your turn. If we could put a town there just to put some stuff in, but I would get, what, the homesteads and the delivery drones? Maybe, just for the people, and we can expand and put more stuff out. All right, I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. Uh, put our found, our city. Uh, not Clarita. I don't know who Clarita is, but I'm getting tired of her getting her name in here. Um, what weird names. How about, oh, Terra Outpost is good. New Kingstown. Red Sinus. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we've got a, uh, what is that? An anomaly contains a unique composition of regolith. Love to perform research there. So science producing buildings on that slot produce extra science. Okay, we can science it up. We have a natural site, which people who live here want to be next to it. We'll do that. I'm going to get rid of this and we'll put in the homesteads. Because they'll be real happy to be here. Plus six support there. Um, and... Ooh, there's a bridge! Neat. We get four more of those Lego boxes, and we get, uh, robots, which we'll put in here somewhere as well. Okay, what are you trying to tell me? Don't forget to expand your city by clicking on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will. I will expand to this water spot. Right there. We can build a mine, or we can extract water for oceans. I'm gonna do the water-ocean thing. Because, um, in all elevations... On elevation, whatever, have flooded. Water? Water? <gasps> I see water! Water? I see little droplets! Ooh! Ooh lots of water. Lots of water, yay! Okay. Okay. Good. No, the bridge is fine. I want a research station on here, I think. We'll expand to this thing and, and get over there. Um, this might be a good place for a town as well, because it's kind of a ways away. Is there anything else I needed to do? Um, I got my mine built, right? The music's getting exciting now. Not enough tritium to start to satisfy the exports. Uh, now, building action to spread life form is available. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Plants. Do it. Ooh, exciting music. These are no good, apparently. But these are Tundra Forest. So we're going to put it in. We'll put it in. We'll worry about. Isn't Tharsis the one underwater? No, that's this one up here. Yeah. Trees! Yay! Okay. 
That's exciting. Next. Okay, plus one oxygen in all zones. We can get a habitation module. Uh, we can get a hydroponic farm. Or a biogenerator, which gives us all kinds of good stuff. Let's enable that one. It's going to get 40 now. We need 20 more water. This one we need science per turn. I'm going to go ahead and... We'll do like... A couple of those. I'm going to put the rest of my money... Or my exports into... Power, I think. Okay, it's purple and green. That's right, now we got to mow lawns again. Uh, I'm going to go here to Red Sinus and put in my delivery drones. Which makes my people in the homesteads happy. There we go. I still need... Well, next turn we can get the power plant out. We're going to expand this guy. Um, if I find a good mine, I probably should do that. These are both actually good. What's the difference? Heliostat. This is plus two power. This is only plus one power. So let's go explore. I only got one power, so I can't do it much exploring. Never mind. Um, yo, you know what? Let's, let's drone hub. Yeah, more robots. Which gives us another spot to go. We can expand into Xanth. I'm going to wait and see what these... Oh, the, what's that one gives us? I'm going to wait for my exploration before I go put those out there. Courthouse makes people happy. Uh, delivery drones again, and a plant spreader. That's our mission here, so let's keep on getting those. we got two of them now. Um, let's get this done. So here we're going to put in this guy. Okay, we've got a power. Um, we've got plenty of power to get a mine. Which will get... It really matters what I get. I mean, any, any resource is going to be something good. I want to do this. Let's explore over here. How far is it? That's a six power to go over there. Yuck. How much time do I get this thing? Next turn I can do the freebie. I think I should do the freebie over here. Because if we find a good town spot, we'll put it right there. <laughs> when do we get uh, humans in this planet? I'm putting our city there. Um, okay. People are getting mad. They, they expect more. Import hydrogen from a gas giant for 50 atmosphere. All that tritium I don't have a lot of. So when I played this game last time, um, I, 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 I we went that route. And we basically said, uh, let me out of here, Earth. Wait, I haven't really gotten a lot of story stuff happening this time around. Maybe that's in the main game and not in the green world game. Um, but we were like... Um, we, we separate ourselves from Earth. There was a whole story thing going on. We haven't had that this time. We extract water from oceans if we go to grab this place. It's a long way out there. We take three bumps. Rocky Plains. Yeah, all Rocky Plains. All underwater. I know I should be using it for this side over here. You got expanded to do in that. I don't think there's anything else that I need to be doing that I'm forgetting. I think I think we're good. She's oh yeah, she's retiring now. So we can now get Anastasia here, who is... What do you do? Research all projects suggested this turn. She can give us uh, comfort. 
Um, independence increases global comfort of living by one, generates two negative supports. Convince the population of Mars you should become independent when the majority of your population convince Martian independence is declared. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's what I was talking about before. But we've got Asia, space tourism. We can start building space hotels. Um, explore location with supports. Her thing is tourism. New plant location upgrades gives us support. I mean, I know I did this one last time, but I kind of, I kind of want to go with, I kind of want to do it again. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes with this, this mode. Um, say magnetic fusion plants goes in a town. So we can get all of these, all of these things. Or we can say explore location. Five extra projects are proposed this turn. Okay. More robots in the other place would not be a bad idea. Bad idea because we still have that thing. So what if we go to here to here? Look, it's all green back there. There's trees. I love it. I love it. Uh, um, and then in, in here, we put in our robot hub. More robots. Which then gives us more space to span, expand. Uh, we can get our plant spreaders out there, which we will do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one in there. Plants. More forests. Uh, can we put more forests there? No, we can put them here, though. Hey, more trees. Uh, we can expand. Where am I get my bunnies? We need the animal one, which is animal spreader is 30 water. We're getting there. Okay. We could use the one with power. Why not? If we find a spot that's got like a high point. What is that? What does that say? Or just that cities can go there. I haven't found any more high spots. I'm going to save that one until we find a high point. I don't know what this... What the, I think the trees do something. Um, support per turn if climate zone has a city. So we should put a, we should put a town in there. Atmosphere per turn and oxygen per turn also. We should put a town here then. That's the case. She's already done her thing, so we can't do anything yet, but we can... Let's build a town. We'll put a town like over... Well, we can put it there. We want to put a town maybe there. And we can expand into that stuff. We'll explore that at some point. Anything with these guys? In two turns, we can do some bacteria spreading. How does she do her independence thing? This one. Gas factory for atmosphere. Farm for food. We got plenty of that. Combined living center gives us humans and robots. Let's get a gas factory, I guess. Let's just turn it in size. So. Independent speech. I'll click on you. Now we're going to go make a town. We're going to go explore. Oh, it is my thing. I got to explore before I can make a town. We should make a town in Xanth. We could do it over here also. Might actually be better. I don't know. We don't know what's over here. We could explore that one and, and then see what's over there. We have a quantum data center, which is going to give us some science. Um, we'll put some science in here. Right there. Three science. This town can grow a couple times. I don't know that I have a place to put it. What's the bacteria do? I don't have a town in this region. This one gives me nothing. Just atmosphere and, and, and oxygen. What are the bunnies going to give me? We got bunnies and penguins. Bunnies make people happy. We got to get, gotta get this thing done. We need 30 water and we're going to work we're going to work towards that. Um, I'm 
putting that into there for the science per turn. Uh, you know what? I know we put a lot into that. I want to see some bunnies, though, so... Penguins, I mean. Cactus. Temper There's a temperate forest. I'm not sure what we're at. I guess we need to be hot for cactus. And temperate forest could go in wherever else. Plus support. I'll take... I'll take... Um, I'll take... Oh, I don't know. Cactus. Um, hospitals, plant spreaders. I guess I... No, I got another plant spreader. I got that, so... I don't need that. We'll take a hospital. We need 60 to get to the next region, the next zone. So we've, we've, we're at level 1. We're at 0. So we're at level 1 of oxygen and ocean and atmosphere. Actually, of all of them. Level 1. Once we get to 60, then we'll go to level 2 or 120 or whatever. We do have a free explorer. I'm going to explore that one. Which is a whole lot of nothing, but there's a big mine prop potentially there. I'm going to go build a city here. Dromedo Stead. Yeah, whatever. Um, and we're going to put it... There. We can put a hospital in right now. Just boost adjacent population. She can make... Um, oh, she doesn't do anything. Anybody have a decent population that could use that? Uh, you do. I could put it there. Actually, either one of these. Plus one on each, either one of these spots. Ooh, more people happy. Needs up some of our water. Is there a good water mine around? So, I'm confused about that speech. Convince the city, population of a city that Mars that you should become independent. The majority of your population is convinced Martian independence is declared. Is it up here somewhere? Majority of my population. Where does that say that? I don't know where it says. Anyone seeing that one? No, but our bacteria is ready to, ready to spread, so let's let's spread it. Uh, does it matter if we put it in the same spot? Purple and green. All right. Silicate deposits. We've got a decent amount of that coming in. I thought I had a big water one somewhere around. There is the water one I was looking for. That's the one. Okay, we have an extra. Dome Parks Ingenuity Center. Or a quantum data center. Let's do Science Support. Let's do the robots. And I'm going to take another one of these power plants, I think. I think I probably have a spot for it. This is what a... Um, this one, I think, is better. Better if we had a high, a high point for it. I'll spend my time searching. Search for a good water spot. There is an aquifer. Uh, I'll take it. We could extract it for oceans, but only 10. We get one water per turn. Is that worth it? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I can't decide. I know we want to make... We got Dromedo here. It's just a big science place. 
Are you still all about science? Like, if I put if I put you there, does it matter? No. Gives you two expansions. We already got two expansions. Let's put it in Grey Hill. More expansions. And then Grey Hill will go... Um... Minus three if we go to that water spot. We'll do it. We're gonna mine. More water coming in. good high point for that, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it in, I think. Alright, we're getting 8 power now. Maybe it's not a big deal. Let's see, we need, we need... Okay, so next turn we can get the, the animal spreader in. And we'll put it... Probably put it right over here. Okay. To use a discussion to debate that thanks and thanks to the determination of, of Anastasia, people of Mars come together and voted for independence. Due to the great distance separating the two planets, the nations of Earth did not have much of a choice in the matter. They are unhappy about the decision, but accept the new Martian constitution without any signs of hostility. People will be happy to have to, happy to have more say in their own governance. Will come disgruntled if your economy stays dependent on imports from Earth. Sign that declaration. All right, I can feel the expanse starting up already. We're gonna make some cool spaceships. Next turn. Okay, we can get... This one gives us 50 water from Europa. That's good stuff. For a lot of green stuff. Add that one in. Okay. Um, I want... I don't know how many people growing for you. We got an animal spreader we can put out. Do I have a spot for it? I thought I had a spot. here you can just go there we'll put our animal man there now do we want to put out penguins or bunnies that's the question we can't do penguins yet because it's not no we need two oxygen we're only at one so bunnies it is bunnies don't go anywhere no oxygen oh wait we got some over here bunnies now, in the place where there is bunnies, what do they give us? If it has a city, big big bonus. This is the city. This place is going to be underwater. So. We're playing happy music, whatever's going on. We're going to go ahead and scan that. This is a flat plane, which is going to get flooded. Ooh, a dormant volcano. So we can spend some tritium and make this volcano do its thing, which will give us 50 atmosphere and 10 heat. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Let's build it. Let's build a town here. Town there, and then we can get the silicates. It's gonna maybe go underwater if we get too much water here. That's right, incoming stealth frigates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can once we do the volcano that we can put our power on it. I need, I need more water. Okay. Boost, boost. Hey, Koi Banana. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the, the support. Thanks for the subscribe. Um, let's see. When you're done this turn. Robot hub, data center. Um, one extra project every turn. We can have two extra projects in reserve. Um, I guess I'll take the science. 
And we'll just dump it in here. And that's been achieved, so there's no need for that anymore. Um, let's explore. Go up here. Just a big open spot, nothing there. Robot hub, space hotels we can't do, and that's more science. I guess we'll take the robot hub. Uh, I need to get these things done. So we start looking at these again. Um, in fact, I got a ton of this stuff. So let's redo this. So we want to get those done and then start working on these. We'll get that one first. We'll give us science. It's a quick one. Then we'll work on the other stuff. I'd love to have more uh, more trade spots. I don't have any. There's a lava tomb. I have another town over here. We have the water for another town. I don't know if this is a good idea to have a town over here, but the bunnies want it. 25. Oh, you know what? Well, it'll be done next turn, and then we'll have more, and we can put into that, make that volcano go. Once the volcano goes, then we'll put a town in. Okay, alpine forest or polar bears. We need three oxygen for polar bears. That seems like a lot. I already have alpine forest, don't I? Isn't that what I have? Take the polar bears. Food processing. Two, support income when you can increase your food, water, and nitrates. Um, support when constructing a building. Or new space projects require three less of each resource. Yeah. Animal spreader. A Martian Workers Association. Sure. Can you build this? Oh, get this one done first. Two support per turn, per unique resource or terraforming output this produced by this city. Does it say how much I'll get? So we give 12, 12 support per turn if it's there. 14 there. Two, and of course this is nothing. I want to use my last spot for a support thing. Let's just put it here in Grey Hill. It's actually better in Grey Hill. Take the supports. This one's done, so now we can go switch over and just start putting all this in. Let's get that done. I don't know if there's any reason to buy this. Nitrate mine. Where? I have that one already. You want it? Yeah. I don't see it. We could go to about two over there and get a tritium spot. Oh, nit nitrate. I'm thinking of the green stuff. Am I missing it? Explore that. Ooh, a large deposit. Okay, yeah, we'll go there. Mind that. Aquifer, we can bring in 10 water, which isn't do much. 
<clears throat> we could go get that and get more water. People really don't like it because it's minus three because it's so far away. I'm not that concerned about it though. I think doing these is more water than anything. That's 50 water right there. So once that's complete, Android Hub, University, or Research Center. Robots. None of those. I'm not sure. So we're at we're at ten. We've got four bunny with our bunnies, four forests, and two of the, the bacteria. We need twenty to win this thing. Okay. Uh, what do we need? Twenty five, which we'll get here in a couple turns, and we'll get more plants. Which I think I have got one more. I have cactus. We can put cactus somewhere if, if it's hot enough. I don't know what it is. No really view for you to expand. You can expand up there, there, or down there. So it doesn't really matter. So I'll go ahead and use it. And we'll go. We'll go there. Um That's almost there. We can get we could go over here and put down a couple of things. We can do like the androids and the robot hubs. We need a couple, couple, a lot of growth. Mine there. Some silicate mine. We'll go ahead and get that. Okay, nothing's high on the high up. Um, yeah, pass turn. New leader. All right, so we've got Flora here, who likes birds. She constructs plant spreader buildings, cost 60% less nitrates. Hey. Accelerate proliferation of life. Import life form. Propose two life forms, choose one. Explore gets supports. What do you do? Increases tritium. You're the, uh, you're the minor guy. Uh, I'll take, I'll take her. Yeah, let's get a hippie in here, and that's how we make this place green. Uh, school or uh, road paver entertainment it might actually come in handy enable that one for some science uh, and now we're gonna go get this fucking was was tritium we need three tritium so I'm not gonna go and start one of these just yet because we're gonna crank a bunch in here and then we'll start doing it so we gotta get that thing done that volcano balloon Plant spreader. Let's put it right there. Let's spread some plants. We've got cactus, which we don't have any spots for cactus, but we can put out the tundra forest. Which appears to already be... Oh! Which one is this? Elysium? And what are you? Same thing, right? Sand like that. In Tharsis? What? I'm not sure what it's doing there. Okay, we'll let her do her thing. So, get support. Uh, import a life form. Birds of Paradise or a Boreal war, uh, Rainforest, which needs a lot of rainfall. This one just needs hot. I don't have either of these. I can do either of these things. What else can you do? Oh, did it cancel it? Oh, I didn't want to cancel it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can't cancel. I can just I can minimize it. Um, I guess we'll take... I'll take... The the boreal forest, but it's not going to happen. I don't think. It's got a one there, like like we can use it, but I don't think we can. So for more trade routes, we can get atmosphere with more tritium. I don't have a lot of tritium. I guess I need to get some more of that. Take one of those. We got empty spaces. 
Would you do any good here? No. No good there either. You can do good there. A happiness boost. Okay, we'll go ahead and put in the spaceport. We will explore that one. I'm going to put this thing out here. For the power. And... Let's not get that volcano because I just spent it all. Either of these. No, oh, I gotta. I guess I gotta pick one of them. It's like I have one available, but I don't have a place. I don't have a place to put it. Is that what I was trying to say? That's what I was trying to say. I don't have a place to put it because we haven't done any of this yet. So if we want to do that, we're gonna have to go in like that with volcano one, or raise the oceans, or atmosphere, or whatever. Let's do the volcano next turn. I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit. I want to see things happen. This will give me science. I don't want that. Uh, I'll take that one. I'm not count as something that would give a boost. At 25, let's erupt the volcano. Restart that volcano. Our theories are correct. The bean could indeed activate a volcano. All right. Support in all cities. We got a volcano doing its thing. It's now dormant. Looks like we broke our mind by doing that. Um, the dead volcano now, we can put that on there, which I meant to put the other thing on there. We'll control that location. Well, we're going to go build a town first. Um, what a terrible place. <laughs> Need more people. More life forms? What can we get? We can get horses. We can get deer. We may be able to do deer pretty soon. We need two oxygen. We're at, we're at two oxygen. So we can place deer. No suitable zone. What am I missing with these? Is there a place for penguins? There's a mediocre place for penguins. Sounds good to me. Yay, penguins! Wait, we won? I won! What? Oh, we erupted, we erupted Olymp Olympus Mons. That thing's a beast. All right. Well, there we go. I accept. <laughs> it's not quite as green as, as I was hoping for. Uh, I was hoping for a little more purple. Exciting music, though. Oh, people are so happy. You succeeded. You managed to develop a Martian civilization to a sustainable level. Your endeavors are met with approval by the governments on Earth. I don't care about them. And the settlers on Mars alike. The Martian society is on good track to tackle the task of terraforming. All right. Hang on, lots of people. What do you do? Art gallery. You are a breach aquifer fella. Food, make a food guy. And an import life form lady. Yeah, that penguin must have been like 10 points or something. I got us a lot. We got some new things. Regolith Burner and uh, Rover Exploration Center. Cool. How about some more points? 
No thanks. Igloos. Oh man, I wish I wanted a whole town of those. Seed vaults. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. There is terraformers. So I've I've completed the first one, the challenging one. What's the next? Next is hard, which gives us more expectations. And I guess we go up from there. I guess we can go even the severe. That was just a normal difficulty. Yeah. So we're spreading life no matter what, and it goes up to the path. And then we have oh, we unlock the blue path <laughs> to fully terraform. Go to Mars to create a second Earth and learn how to make take better care of it. We have uh, per aspera ad astra. Gain space points. This might be where we start getting like, because you can colonize in this and level in version 1.0, which we're at now. Uh, we can we can colonize the moons. Planet of knowledge for science stuff. Expansionist. Mars belongs to us. Claim the very continent of the blue planet as our own. Now it's time to expand beyond its confines. Claim Mars as our own. Yeah. Cool. Neat. Well, anyway, there is terraformers it is uh out as of uh it's been out since last year in early access it is full release now as of the 9th um or will be if you're watching this live uh on the 9th of march and um thanks again to uh to goblins and asteroid lab for sponsoring um oh there we go is it there's phobos ah check that out we didn't get there but that's cool I'm guessing it's through these missions here, and you get and you get on to the other places. Neat. I didn't look at all these. I didn't look at any of my my charts. Um, the um, I think a lot of the new stuff. Oh, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all the terraforming stuff, but adding in the colonization and then the new leaders. That's all the new stuff in there. Um, but I'm glad we got to blow up a volcano before it all ended. So there we go. There is Terraformers.